Wild Waves is a small water and theme park located between Seattle and Tacoma in Washington State. The Pacific Northwest isn't exactly known for its theme parks. You won't find a ton of options. Wild Waves is one of the only places that you'll be able to go for roller coasters. And out of all the parks there, they actually have one of the larger collections housing four roller coasters. This includes an SNS wooden roller coaster called Timberhawk. There are only four of those ever built. Wild Thing is an arrow corkscrew. They have a wild mouse and a kitty coaster. That being said, I would not say the roller coasters are the main draw here. The water park was significantly more popular, which I mean, to be fair, the park is called Wild Waves, so I guess that does make sense. When I first walked in and took a quick look around the theme park, it was pretty deserted. And it's not because there was bad weather or it was ridiculously hot out. There just wasn't a whole lot going on in the theme park that everyone gravitated towards the water slides. And it was also pretty easy to tell that that's where most of the investment was going. I did not do any of the water slides there, but in just walking around, I gotta say the water park is not half bad. It's decently well landscaped, has a variety of slides, and so I can understand why the park has put their main focus on it. However, the main problem is that right now, Wild Waves is heavily weighted towards the water park. That's getting all the attention, and the theme park is not. I think it would take years of investment to get the theme park up to the same standard as the water park. Because let me just say, the theme park side of things needed some help. We're talking wide open spaces where there are no rides. Not because they're scenic, pretty areas like some parks do. If you have nice areas of the park without rides, that's totally fine. But this is sections of park where there is just nothing there and you can tell that there should be something there. Like maybe there were attractions there at one point, but they've since been removed and it's just kind of sad. I feel like Wild Waves is one of those places that really should be a lot better than it actually is. I don't know if that's an ownership issue or they just aren't getting a return on investment or they just don't have the money to pour in new investment. I've only been to this park once, so I can't really comment on how popular it is. But when you're located right near Seattle, one of the biggest cities in America, it is surprising that Wild Waves is not better than it actually is. It's in a great location, pretty easy to access. And when land is so expensive in that part of the country, Wild Waves had a lot of it. There are these big tall trees, lots of hilly areas. Like you could put some really cool attractions here, but they don't. Instead, we see the opposite. Numerous attractions when I visited Wild Waves were closed. This includes their Wild Mouse, Klondike Gold Rusher, which has been standing but not operating for years. Timberhawk was closed. That's their signature attraction. Now, it's my understanding that it was having some technical issues. I found out when I was there that it was closed the previous day as well. So clearly there was something going on and I understand things happen. So I'm not upset about that, although it is a bummer that I wasn't able to experience it. But then just to top it all off, the kitty coaster was closed too. That means out of the four roller coasters in the park, there was one that was open. I'm sorry, but that's not a good look. Even if Timberhawk was open, that's still two of the four. And it's not like the one that was open was all that great either. Wild Thing is just a standard run-of-the-mill corkscrew. The classic three-inversion layout, it's nothing to shout at. And when your park guests are paying $50 for a single-day ticket, I'm sorry, but that isn't worth it. If you're going to charge full price for that kind of lineup, then I think it crosses into the threshold where I would not recommend visiting this park. I don't feel like it's worth the money. It's not like they had a strong supporting lineup of flat rides either. When I say there was not much at this park, I mean, we're talking a scrambler, a carousel, a swinging ship, a small SNS drop tower, whatever this thing is that reminds me of the one at Kennywood. That's kind of cool. And then they have a boat ride. And that was definitely the most popular ride in the dry park, ironically. I really feel like this park needs some TLC because right now it's not getting it. In a way, the park reminded me a bit of Alabama Adventure, except the difference is Alabama Adventure is actually getting investment. I feel like the owners there are actively trying to improve that place. I don't know if I would say the same here. I genuinely feel like Seattle deserves better. And I hate saying it, but I feel bad for the people of this area that are roller coaster fans that this is really all they got. It doesn't mean that they won't improve in the future. There's always time to change, and I would love to see this park turn a new leaf. And I'll be honest, I'm not as familiar with the history of this place as I'm sure some locals are, but I've seen a lot of places that didn't have a lot to work with try and make something great out of it. And that doesn't even mean that they have to add Add a big new expensive roller coaster. There's a lot of little things they could do to fix this place up. And I think at the core, it really starts with atmosphere. This was not a fun place to walk around. 
It wasn't lively. It wasn't pretty. There wasn't even cool stuff to look at. And it just made me sad. I want to see parks succeed. I love visiting cool new places. And so it's unfortunate when one under delivers. So I can genuinely say, if you're going to be in the Pacific Northwest and want to go to a good amusement park, I would not recommend Wild Waves. Instead, go to Enchanted Forest in Oregon. That's a really cool place. Super unique and has tons of charm and personality, which unfortunately is not something that you'll find at Wild Waves. But at least those are my thoughts based off of my one experience I had there. If you've been here, I'd love if you could comment below, what do you think of the place? Do you agree with the points I've made? Let me know down below. And of course, if you're new to the channel, I'd love if you could subscribe. We do amusement park reviews for places all across the world. So stay tuned for more. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you next time.